Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a five exercise workout. So we have five different exercises and you're going to be doing each one for 40 seconds with a 15 second rest in between. Uh, this workout focuses a lot on lower body so and a, bit, a little bit of cardio, so get ready to work. The first exercise to really get your legs warmed up are 40 seconds of three squat jumps into three bodyweight squats. So you're going to be doing on the squat jumps, getting as low as you can, at least 90 degrees or more, and then explode out of the jump on the way up. Once you've done three of those, do three bodyweight squats, keeping good form, making sure again that you're going 90 degrees or a little bit lower. By this point, your legs should start to feel pretty tired. Really try to push through doing the squat jumps and the squats, but if you're feeling like you can't, just continue with the bodyweight squats rather than doing the jumps. Once the 40 seconds are up, you have a 15 second rest period into which you're going to get into your next position. This one you're going to be in a plank position. For this exercise, you're going to jump your legs to the right, to the middle, and then to the left. When you bring them back to the middle, you're going to jump your feet in so your knees are close to your hands, and jump up. When I do this exercise, I really try to keep my legs straight to engage my core as much as possible. If you want to do a modified version of this, rather than jumping your legs to the side, keep, stay in a plank position and jump both your feet out and back in, it's kind of like a V formation. These are called plank jacks. Make sure that you're still standing up and doing the jump at the end. Now you have another 15 second rest and then you're going to go into the next exercise which are high knees. This next exercise, high knees running on the spot. It may seem pretty easy but you need to make sure you're maintaining good form the entire time. As you can see I'm really bringing my knees high so that my legs are almost 90 degrees with the ground. Don't let yourself slack and just bring your feet up a little like you're jogging. Really make sure that you're bringing those knees as high as possible to get the most out of this. Alright, you have four seconds left and you're almost done this round. Nice job. Get ready to move into another lower body exercise with these deep squats to lateral leg lifts. For this exercise, keep your feet shoulder width apart. Go down into a deep squat and as you come up, lift your leg to the side. Go down into a squat again and repeat on the opposite side. As you rise out of the squat, make sure you're not coming up completely. Keep a slight bend in your knees so that you're staying a little bit low and really working your glutes and your quads. As you are lifting your leg to the side, try to squeeze your glutes and bring your leg as high up so it's almost parallel to the ground. Okay, you have five seconds left, so keep pushing through. You're almost done. For this next exercise, you get a bit of a break for your legs and it focuses more on your core and upper body. For this final exercise of the workout, you're going to be in a plank position but leaning forward so that your shoulders are in front of your hands. You're going to hold this for 5 seconds and then go back into regular plank position just like this. The reason why you lean forward is because it puts more stress onto your core, really engaging your abdominals as much as possible. If this is too difficult for you, just stay in your regular plank position and hold that for 40 seconds. I try to push myself as hard as possible for the last exercise of this round by staying in the leaning forward position for the final 10 seconds. Once you have finished this round of the circuit, give yourself a couple minutes break and then repeat it three more times for a total of four rounds. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at sweatyandfit.